How's it going everyone? My name is JJ, or I run as my channel say, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get through Victory Road on Pokemon Fire Red. I'd highly recommend bringing some Super Pals and Nars, you're just going to run into those annoying wild Pokemon. Um, what you will need for this, you will need strength, just to move these boulders. Because the way these boulders work, which is pretty unique, I've never actually seen this in a, in a um, Victory Road, is um, you put them on these like, little pressure plate sort of pad things, and basically it'll sort of move rocks um, out of the way. So directly in front of us there is um, above us, it's like this little rock which will move out of the way once it goes onto this little white pad. A uh, little pressure plate thing, which is pretty cool. It's pretty, um, it's a unique design. There it goes, move. So now we can carry on with the. Um, um, through Victory Road, so you will need, um, there is a few battles on the way that you'll have to do, however, um, most of them are skippable, um, but some, there's some of these, some of these little boulder puzzles can be difficult and some can be a little easier, but this one is fairly easy, however, it can catch you out if you go too far, um, so you want to hit twice and twice down and then go twice across, and there you go, you've unlocked that path. Um, so yeah, like I said, some of the battles are skippable, some battles are not, um, but you know, like you'll you'll be able to skip. You'll understand where you're um, going. Go through this. You want to go through this little, um, little ladder here. Put another super pal if you've run out by now. Uh, basically, this little boulder here, which is directly in front of me, is um we're gonna move that upward and then all the way to the left. Cause there's a little um another little pressure plate, little pad thingy, whatever you want to call them, over um over on the left here. You don't want to push it all the way to the top, or else it will completely fail. So push it um all the way up. Uh, minus one block. Uh, one block or one space, one little tile, I guess you can call it, all the way across. This can be very boring and time consuming. Okay, now you can go above it, hit it down once, over to the left, all the way down. There we go, go above it again, push it down next to the pressure pad, and then across. And there you go, you might have seen that in the bottom right corner that it unlocked the little pathway. So now you want to run past this girl, skip that battle, you can skip this, these two battles as well by running. The way I have there. Finally, down this way, all the way across, not that boulder downwards, and then you want to follow it down that hole as well. So follow it downwards, and pretty much you go push this boulder all the way, all the way to the left. Above me is another little rocky area that will disappear once this boulder is on the pressure pad. So once we get over there, which again is a bit time consuming, it's a little bit of a slow animation. Um, basically, that little rocky area will will disappear um you can go up the ladder then we can go this way there you go it's now disappeared we're gonna put another super pal on don't want to get in any of those wild pokemon go up this little ladder here and there's a double battle up there so be careful just in case you haven't done it um down this one across there he do not actually battle you he um rewards you by teaching you i think double edge and there you go you made it to route 23 and then the indigo plateau but that's how to get through rich Road, thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and I'll see you all next time for another Pokemon video. Goodbye.